long division. So first, divide using long division. So our polynomial is x cubed plus 8x squared plus 17x plus 10 divided by x plus 1. So first, of course, we need to write our dividend and our divisor here. And so for us to divide this one, we're going to start um, checking first if the given polynomial is arranged properly, so based on the degree. So here, as you can see, it is already arranged properly. So that means we cannot proceed with the actual division itself. So if you're going to divide, you are supposed to start with the first term of the polynomial and focus with the first term as well of the divisor. So we have x cubed divided by x, so we will have x squared. So x squared, so after that, we will just multiply x squared with x plus 1. So x squared times x, we will have x cubed. x squared times 1, we will have x squared. And after that, we will just subtract. So x cubed minus x cubed, it's 0. And positive 8 x squared minus x squared so we will have 7x squared and after that you just simply bring down the next term and that is 17x and you will just repeat the process by simply um, dividing looking at the first term of your dividend and that is 7x squared divided by the first term of the divisor again which is x so 7x squared divided by x you will have positive 7x and repeat, repeat the process 7x times x plus 1. So 7x times x, 7x squared, and 7x times 1 is 7x. And then subtract once again. So 7x squared minus 7x squared, it's 0. So no need to write the 0. And then proceed with 17x minus 7x. So you will have 10x. And since there is still a um, remaining term in our dividend, so you are going to um, bring down again the next term and that is positive 10. And then repeat the process dividing 10x by x of the divisor, so that will be positive 10. Next, multiply positive 10 with x plus 1. So, 10 times x plus 1, you will have 10x plus 10. And subtract again. So, 10x minus 10x is 0. Then, positive 10 minus positive 10 is equal to 0. And supposedly, our final answer here, since we don't have any um, other term for us to bring down, then that means that is the end of our solution. It so happened that our remainder is 0. And so, if the remainder is 0, we can now conclude that x squared plus 7x plus 10 is our quotient. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learn about the video that we've discussed here, the content of the video. So if you learn and um, you think that the video is really cool, so please click um, and subscribe in our YouTube channel so that you will be updated.